Hey friends, it's Lynn here at 1A Auto. Today we're going to be working on our 1996 Dodge Ram 1500. I want to show you something very simple, replacing the rear shocks. It'll be super easy, I can do it and you can do it too. As always, if you need this part or any other part, check us out at 1AAuto.com. Thanks. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Whoa! It keeps going. <laughs> oh, surf's up, dude. <laughs> okay, friends, so we're underneath the vehicle. Here's our rear shock. We're gonna go ahead and replace this. I'm just gonna use these locking pliers on the nut here. If you can try to get a wrench on there, it's up to you. Um, theoretically, it should be a 19. This one's not in the best condition. So I'm just going with the locking pliers. Now I'm gonna get my 21 millimeter socket to swivel with an extension. Can get it on that bolt head right up there. Just like that. You can try to use a ratchet if that's what you have. Safety glasses, here we go. Feels like it's coming loose. There we are. There's our nut. Our gun down off of here. All right, we'll take that out in a minute. We're gonna leave that right as it is. We'll get this nut off of here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a pole jack. If you have a pole jack or a jack stand if you're working on the ground or even a ratchet strap and then up to the frame. Just something to kind of try to hold the differential where it is because um, it's gonna wanna probably try to drop down. So let's take this nut off of here real quick. We're gonna try a different socket, see if we can get a little bit more pressure. Starting to turn. Is there not? Bolt turns freely. Awesome. All right, let's get something to hold this differential up a little bit and we can continue. So we grabbed our pole jack. Let's give it a little bit of pressure. Try to give this a couple loving bonks, see if it wants to come out. Awesome. We're gonna clean this up, make sure we've got some pretty good threads down where the, uh, the nut's gonna go. Up here, it doesn't really matter so much as long as it isn't rotted you know, all the way through. I'm not too worried if it doesn't have threads because, well, it doesn't need to. So I'm just gonna use my pry bar here. I'm gonna pry the lower portion of the shock out of its mount. There we go. Now the shock can move around. And we also have plenty of slack with our upper bolt. Let's pull that out of there. There's our upper bolt. We'll clean it up, make sure it's in good condition. And here, my friends, is our rear shock. Woo! So here we are, friends, a quick product comparison for you. Right here, we have our rear shock out of our 1996 Dodge Ram 1500. Over here, we have our brand new quality 1A Auto part. As you can tell, these parts are created equal. Same length, right? Super important. You've got your mounting on the bottom there. That's where the bolt goes through. And then, of course, on the other end, the top, same thing, mounting where the bolt goes through. These are very basic. There really isn't very much to say. These are super strong. They're all gassed up. That's that one. We'll wait for it to finish going all the way up. Just takes a second. And then I'll show you the original one. And you can make your decision on the reason why we decided to go ahead and replace it. So that's the way it's supposed to work. Here's our 96, goes right down, a couple finger pressure here, nothing really very crazy. Hello? Oh, well, I don't know. I guess that's the way it wants to be, and so that's a great reason why we're going to replace it. It's supposed to want to do this. Thank you 1A Auto. Like I said, if you need this or any other part, you can always check us out at 1AAuto.com. Thanks.
So one of the first things you want to do is once you take off the, um, the little plastic that's going to go around here, it just kind of keeps it compressed. You want to let it fully expand in the straight up and down position. Set it down on the floor in between your feet so it can't slide from side to side. I don't want anybody getting hurt. Press it down nice and slow. So it goes all the way down. And then just let it take its time coming up. You're going to do this three to five times. And what you'll notice is every time you do it, it's going to get a little bit faster coming up and it's going to feel a little stiffer going down. That's because we're charging it up inside. We're getting the gases all mixed up. They're excited. They're having a party in there. So we have our rear shock. This side's up, the side with the little tin, okay? And the bottom piston goes up into there. We're just going to go right up into our little area here where we took it out of, the original one. I'm going to take my bolt, reach up, try to find my hole. Just going to start on one of these nuts. Okay, so now what's going on? Her shock's a little bit too long, right? Well, that's okay. You can either try to let your differential down a little bit, which might bring it down a teeny bit, but you could also just do this. Just give this a little squish, let it come down. We're gonna have our shock bolt ready. And we're just gonna cut right through the hole. All right, so we're gonna get our 21 up onto that bolt up there. Under here, I'm gonna grab my safety glasses. Okay. It's tight. Wiggle it around. Got a little bit of movement here, but that's just from our rubber bushing, which is great. That's perfect. All right, we're gonna do the same to the other side of the vehicle. All right, friends, so we got our new shocks in here. Let's just give them a, uh, the old try here. Give it a little shake. Going a little off road in. And then it stops. I like it. Not bad. Thanks for watching. Visit 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts shipped to your door, the place for DIY auto repair. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button.